Are you ready, Kevin? Get ready. The best music you have. Help me welcome to the stage with a big round of applause, Mike Stevens. Let him hear it! Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, another hand for Ken's sons, huh? Isn't he great? Let me tell you something. For a, if he is a gay construction worker, he's got the softest hands. I mean, really. Which probably uh, comes in handy now that I think about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was dumb. I, uh, I actually do work here. It's kind of weird. Uh, I was kind of nervous for the show a bit. But I always wondered how nervous uh, Ken and... Les McCurdy over here get when one of their employees takes the stage, you know what I'm saying? Because this could be just another set or a 15 minute rant followed by the most epic way to quit a job ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, you guys gave me way too much power up here with this microphone. I'm saying it right now. In fact, me and the McCurdy staff met before this show and we came up with a list of demands, all right, before they get back to work. All right? First off, we want to be able to bring our weed to work again. <laughs> Second of all, I want free food. I mean, we, we want free food every day. All right? And finally, we want you to lift the ban on our cocaine-infused casual Friday parties, okay? It's not that big of a deal, all right? We promise we'll stop inviting hookers from Venice, all right? I mean, really, they always try to use their AARP discounts on liquor, and frankly, I don't think we have enough handicapped parking spots, you know, around here, so. <laughs> no, uh, it is funny. Actually, I work security here, and uh, I'm not sure I'm qualified. <laughs> Like, I don't know if anybody who's intimidated by a ginger with man titties, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know anybody. In fact, if you are, you're probably not gonna be one to start shit at a comedy club. Let me throw it out there, all right? Yeah, and these, these fuckers are vulnerable too, all right, guys? Like, all you really need to stop me is like a decent purple nurple technique, and I'm fucking out of there. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. I'll run. All right? <laughs> no, it is, uh, it's awesome. Plus, I've only ever been in one fight in my whole life, and it was over McDonald's. It wasn't even at a McDonald's, it was just about McDonald's. See, I like how some of you guys are like, yeah, okay. But then most of you are like, yeah, I can see that. I can tell, I bet you somebody tried to steal your McNuggets. Come on, guys, I'm not gonna fight somebody over McNuggets, all right? It was a fucking Big Mac, all right? You try to steal my number one combo with a Coke, I'm gonna mess you up, all right? Just saying. <laughs> no, uh, it is cool working here, though. I uh, meet a lot of really cool people. I actually work with a transgendered man. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's a uh, woman to man. For those of you guys trying to do gender math in your head. Right. No, he's, uh, he's, he's badass though. He's a really cool dude. Awesome. All right, he's a little too awesome, if I'm being honest. Like, he's making me look bad, all right? Like, he works out all the fucking time, you know? Like, we'll be getting down here at 12 o'clock at night sometimes, and he'll just be going to the gym. Yeah, me? I go home, pop open a pint of ice cream, turn on Bridget Jones's diary, <laughs> cry myself to sleep at night, you know what I'm saying? He gets more action than me. Yeah. I think he's like dating a model and some shit, you know? Me? I'm chafing down here, all right guys? It's become a real problem. Yeah, he's a, uh, it's ridiculous. He's a black belt in Taekwondo. I got my ass kicked over a Big Mac, you know? You see where I'm going with these people? Like, like, at this point, I'm pretty sure the only reason I even grew this beard is so that when I stand next to him, I don't look like a six foot two redheaded lesbian. You know what I'm saying? With really nice tits, by the way. 
Thank you guys, that's my time. Max Steven, let him hear. He works at the front door. First time on stage, man, how cool was that? Way to go, Mike. Everybody that works here gets to take the classes for free, so it's fun for us to see people we've worked with for years and all of a sudden, boom, they're up here doing it. Now.